If you say, you call me、eh, Tai Tai, I will be so angry. Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. I'm Cecilia Chen. I'm a teacher from Taiwan. If you are interested in learning Taiwanese Mandarin, don't forget to check my description box. Now I have two mini courses offered for free for people who want to learn Chinese, particularly from Taiwan, but don't know how to start. So definitely check it out. Okay, so today's topic we are going to learn how to address people in Chinese. Okay, so let's start from the most basic one. The first one is Mr. and Miss. Okay, Mr. in Chinese is 先生先生先生 Miss in Chinese is 小姐小姐 Okay, and if you want to add their last name. You can do it. Just simply say their last name and add 先生 or 小姐 behind. Okay, so it's different from English. You say Miss, for example, Mr. Chen or Miss Chen, right? But in Chinese, we say the last name first, so it becomes 陈先生 or 陈小姐 The second one, how to address married couple? There are two ways. Okay, the first one is the formal way. You can say 先生 or 太太 Xianshen is husband, 太太 is wife. And I know this 先生 and the previous 先生 are exactly the same, but in this case you don't add the last name. Okay, so we know that you are referring to someone's husband or your husband. Okay, so you can say 他的先生 or 我的先生 or 他的太太 or 我的太太 Okay, this is the formal way. There is something you have to know about Tai Tai. Tai Tai has an other meaning that means Madame. Okay, but in reality, is that、um, people hate、uh, someone to call them Tai Tai. If you say, you call me、eh, Tai Tai, I will be so angry. I know you might want to address a woman like in a respectful way and formal way. And maybe you will look on Google how to say Madame in Chinese. The Google tells you Tai Tai. Da da. Okay, Tai Tai. Yes, it does has the meaning of Madame. But the reality is that people hate someone to call them Tai Tai because Tai Tai sounds really old. So I really suggest you just to call a lady 小姐小姐 is good enough, okay? Don't call them 太太 they will be angry, unless you are addressing someone's wife, okay? For casual way, people say 老公 and 老婆老公 just means husband, 老婆 is wife. This is a casual way, and this is how people usually、uh, say it between like friends or things like that, okay? Good. And then how to address people work in the shop? Okay, so for if the person that you are addressing is a owner of the shop, you can call them 老板老板 It's the boss. So let's say someone、um, own a shop of noodle shop, and you want to buy something, you can say 老板我要一个炒面 Okay, 老板老板 Okay, if this boss, if this owner is a female, you can call her 老板娘老板娘老板娘，老板娘，我要一个炒饭。For example, sometimes you might hear、uh, in the shop, and、uh, the owner of the shop, maybe they are owner of the like restaurant or something, and they are calling their customer 帅哥 or 美女。帅哥 means handsome guy， 美女 means beauty， beauty beautiful lady. Okay, so this is not really call them, not really describe their by their appearance. But just to want to have a more close relationship with their customer, so they just call them 帅哥 or 美女 Okay. Okay. So how do you address people work in restaurant? I know you might know this word 服务生 means waiter, but、uh, to me, to address people as waiter is kind of weird and it's not very polite. So I suggest you just to call them 先生 or 小姐 So for example, 小姐，我要点餐 or 先生。我要买单 something like that. Then how to address your partner's parents? Okay, this is important. There are two ways you can address them. So first one is you can add、uh, your partner's name first. Say your partner's name first, and then say 爸爸 or 妈妈 Okay, and usually we pronounce as 爸爸
妈妈 ，OK， remember this tone， 爸爸，妈妈。So let's say if your girlfriend's name is Emily, you can say Emily 爸爸 or Emily 妈妈 ，OK。The other way you can call them is just 叔叔 or 阿姨，叔叔 or 阿姨 ，OK? Uncle and auntie. And how to address like random? I mean, like not your grandparents, like random、uh, grandma or granddad on the street. You can say 阿公阿公 It's in Taiwanese actually. Or 阿妈阿妈阿妈 is grandma. You can call random、uh, grand grandfather or grandma, like in that age, people like that, agong or ama. Right. So this is today's lesson. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time.